cities like Barcelona, one of the big problems is going to be the increasing frequency of heat waves. So one very practical thing that cities can do is to increase the amount of green space in the cities. The, these are win-win interventions. They're good for health, they're good for climate. A good example of the ways in which climate change affects health uh, are the, the fires, the bushfires, wildfires that we've seen in California in the last week or so. Few things responsible, but certainly climate change is one of the reasons that those fires have occurred and they've been so severe. Well, a, a problem that is important already around the Mediterranean uh, is mosquito-borne diseases like dengue fever. Uh, we think that the, they will become more and more difficult to control as the climate changes in this part of the world. It's true that people in, living in cities are more vulnerable in some ways than those living in the country. Uh, an example is the effect of the urban heat island. Cities heat up more quickly than country, the countryside does. So that people who live in cities are generally more exposed to high temperatures. The most important adaptation the most important coping mechanism for cities around the world, I believe, is to ensure that they have good, strong public health services that ensure that everybody is well protected when the climate does change uh, and we have heat waves and floods and storms and fires. Everybody can make a contribution to uh, reducing the problem. Um, a small contribution perhaps, but an important one nevertheless. Whether it's the way they get around, so choosing transport that is not adding to the problem, cycling, and walking, using public transport, and what we choose to eat. You know, our diets are an important contributor to climate change. So choosing diets that uh, have less meat and more local f fruit and vegetables is making a contribution. Mm -hmm. I imagine Barcelona in 2030 being a, a leading city worldwide in terms of how we respond to climate change. So it will be a city that uh, provides alternatives to the motor car. There will be no motor cars in Barcelona in 2030. People will get around uh, in electric vehicles. Um, they will have public transport, they will have other ways of getting around and it will be a city full of green space. It means that it's both a very pleasant and enjoyable place to live and it's also a secure um, place, a city to live in. But Barcelona will be even more attractive than it is now as a place to come and visit. <laughs>